duality of emotions without harmony within emotions always play a devil's role then it becomes impossible to maintain composure harmony and peaceful existence emotions always exist in fields of opposites the real solution is going beyond these emotions love and hate love and fear love and anger all these are by products of not understanding the nature of love love happens only when the male and female are united within you the animal and animus in bhagavad gita there is a beautiful sutra in order to attain equipoise equanimity amidst all pairs of opposites it is important to go beyond heat and cold pain and pleasure these are the two words that are used heat and cold represents the natural element pain and pleasure is the outcome of your interaction in the world of objects and beings when you are interacting in the realm of objects and beings means you are dealing with men women or you are dealing with the articles objects in the market many kinds of emotions arise and to maintain an equal poise amidst all these pairs of opposites is the way of the seeker and the best way is going beyond the duality you love a woman and with love in the same person comes fear it begins with fear you are always afraid whether this man or woman will leave you and if you see any symptoms otherwise then jealousy comes in anger comes in when things are not happening your way so in the same person with love fear anger jealousy hatred comes and when fear comes it brings hate as well is a chain link love comes in fear comes she may leave you or he may leave you she has already left someone and has come with you there is a precedent perhaps she will do the same to you there is fear you feel not in your stomach you are too much attached you cannot get a simple fact you have come alone in the world you have been here yesterday also without this woman perfectly well without any knots in your stomach and tomorrow if this woman goes what is the need of worry or not in this stomach you know how to be without a man or a woman also you will be able to be without her or him once again the fear arises because things may change tomorrow 
and remember things are never static, they are constantly moving just as seasons. Someone may die, you may go bankrupt, your job may be taken away. There are thousand and one things which may change. You are burdened with more and more fears and none of them are valid because yesterday also you were full of these fears unnecessary. Things may have changed and you are still alive. A man has an immense capacity to adjust himself in any situation. But we do not explore these possibilities. It is said that only man and cockroaches have this immense capacity of adjustment. That's why man and cockroach are always together. Wherever you will find man, you will certainly find cockroaches. And wherever you find cockroaches, you will find man. They always go together. They have a similarity. Even if far away places like North Pole, on the South Pole, you will certainly find them together. When man travelled to those far away places, he suddenly found that he had bought cockroaches with him. And not only that, they were perfectly healthy and living and reproducing too. If you look around the earth, you can see man lives in thousands of different climates, geographical situations, political situations, sociological situations and religious ones. But he manages to live. And he has lived for centuries. Things go on changing and yet still he goes on adjusting it. When winter comes, we adjust. When summer comes, we adjust. And we still go on complaining. There is nothing to fear. Even if the world ends, so what? There is nothing to worry. You will be ending with it. Do you think you will be standing on an island and the whole world will come to an end? Leaving you alone, don't be worried. At least you will have a few cockroaches with you. What is the problem if the world ends? It has been asked to me many times. But what is the problem? If it, if it ends, let it end. It does not create any problem because we will not be here anymore. We will be ending with it and there will be no one to worry about anything. It will be really the greatest freedom from fear. The world ending means every problem ending, every disturbance ending and every knot in your stomach ending. I do not see any problem, but I know that everybody is full of fears. But the question remains basically the same. Fear is part of the mind. Mind is covered and has to be covered because it does not have any substance. It is empty and hollow. It is afraid of everything. And basically it is afraid that one day you may become aware. That will be easily the end of the world. Not the end of the world, but you are becoming aware. You are coming to a state of meditation where mind has to disappear. That is the basic fear. Because of that, Fear it keeps people away from meditation. Certainly it makes them 
enemies of people who are trying to spread something of meditation, way of awareness and witnessing. They become antagonistic to such people, not without any reason. Instead, their fear is well founded. They may not be aware of it, but their mind is really afraid to come close to anything that can create more awareness. That will be the beginning of the end of mind. That will be the death of the mind. But for you there is no fear. The death of mind will be your rebirth. That is what initiation is the beginning of it. Your beginning to really live and death of the mind will be your rebirth. A new beginning to really live. You should be happy. You should rejoice in the death of the mind because nothing can be greater than freedom. Mind creates presence. Nothing, can, nothing else can give you wings to fly in the sky. Also, nothing else can make the whole sky yours to float in total freedom. And the best way to go beyond the emotions is to remain equipoised. When winter comes, we are afraid now winter is coming and it is predicted that this year temperature will fall much below, the snow will be much more. We have options for that. We have the heats in our houses, we have clothes, we have to learn to adjust amidst all situations. But it is because of fear we are not able to live in that situation. You have to make an effort for this. That nothing, no situation creates an obstacle for you. You are doing something, you are going somewhere, all of a sudden you miss the way, you can come back again. You can rediscover your root. If you are doing something and you are in innovative, an obstacle has come in the way of preparing, preparing a dish, you can redo it. You can remodel and adjust it. All options are available, but you can use these options only if you are aware. And awareness means there is less fear. Going beyond the emotions, and this is way of Buddha, to be in the middle. Neither affected by heat nor cold, neither by pain, not pleasure, then you will realize that these none of these can create any dent in your consciousness. You move, you have to be like a tightrope walker moving to the left and to the right. And this is the only way to remain unaffected. By remaining in the middle, you are unaffected of the extremes. Understanding the duality of emotions and using the middle path to avoid the extremes is the way. 